This is Front Up on Geno TV and Channel 99. We have as our guest today David Martin, the new director of the Chamber of Commerce. Welcome, David. Thank, Thank you, you very you much. Coming. Yeah, it's great to and be here. You've been here all of two weeks, right? All of two weeks, two weeks in a day. Yeah. Think, Where did yeah. you come from? I came from Western Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. originally from, from Pittsburgh. The last chamber mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. I ran was in the, uh, the Laurel Highlands of Pennsylvania, kind of the winter playground for, uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, for Pittsburgh and also Harrisburg, mm -hmm. the central and western part of the state. Mm -hmm. And then most recently I was working in Erie, right on the lake mm -hmm. uh, for uh, former Governor Tom Ridge's uh, foundation there, Environmental Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, what appealed to you about Nantucket? I I've, read somewhere that you've been here before. I so. had. I, I've vacationed here a couple of times. Uh, I uh, years ago was with the cruise industry, and I remember being uh, uh, kind of based out of Boston. And whenever mm -hmm. I would get a couple of days off, this is where I would come. I would, oh, really? I would get yeah. down here. I'd get onto the ferry. I just always loved it. I've mm -hmm. always wanted to to live on an island. I like the vibe here. Mm -hmm. I, I like the, the the quirkiness that it is here. And I just thought I'd be a good fit. Well, I'm, I'm not quirky. I don't know who you're yeah, talking well, about. That's not what I heard. Gino's not either. <laughs> <laughs> But that's that's it was a draw, and yeah. uh, I was very very excited uh, to to put it all together mm -hmm. and to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what was your charge from the chamber here when you took the job? I, I think value is a word that mm -hmm. kept coming up. Um, I, I think chambers in a tourism driven area walk a, a fine line between shouting from the rooftops about why you should visit and, mm -hmm. and, and telling, you know, telling the world why it's a special place mm -hmm. to spend time. Uh, and at the same time, you've got to balance that with you know, shouting locally about how special your membership is. Mm -hmm. and, um, chambers around the country, I think, especially since 2008 when, when the, you know, the recession hit, a lot of people question that yearly invoice, that renewal, mm -hmm. and what am I getting for my membership? And they want it to be more than a decal mm -hmm. in, in a window. And, and I, I think what the, you know, the, when I look back at the conversations mm -hmm. I had over probably a month and a half or more with, with the board of directors here, it was you know, putting value into a chamber membership mm -hmm. and, and really making a membership with this chamber something special and something really a business wouldn't want to you know, go without. It's interesting you should mention that because that leads right into one of my questions yeah, that I was thought go. about, yeah. uh, which was that a number of years ago, and I, I used to have a newspaper here on the island, okay. and it didn't last, unfortunately, but uh, you know, when I had that, I got to talk to a lot of people. And one of the uh, concerns right around the time of the mm -hmm. 2008 recession uh, was that the chamber focused I won't say exclusively, but significantly more on tourism and the downtown mm -hmm. business community than it did on its members that were out outside of the of the downtown. I've heard that a few times. Uh, yeah. Interesting. In the last two weeks. Yeah. 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 Uh, interesting. Um, so it's still an issue. Uh, I, I I think it is. I, I and the chamber's been through you know a, a transition, mm -hmm. a transition in leadership. Uh, there's a transition in, in staff. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the things that uh, people we're going to be announcing here in the in the coming weeks is is a is a new staff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, June Myers is still there mm -hmm. with me. She's been part of the chamber for many years right. and and has been been a great uh, partner to me mm -hmm. in in starting out. But um, I rewrote the ch the two job descriptions and the first one is a director of membership, mm -hmm. and that is someone whose focus is going to be here on the island in the town, but also mm -hmm. the the whole island. We're right. we're going, we're worried about. You know, no, the entire the, destination. There's the little downtown, yes. and then there's, then there's the bigger the, town, the bigger and there's town, not much and, beyond that. And but that, but, but it's, 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 a, it's a position that really focuses not so much on, on tourism, that focuses here, mm -hmm. and how to put value and make, I, I want members to feel like we're a partner in, in whatever their mission is, what their goals are, what their uh, short-term and long-term objectives are in their success. I mm -hmm. want to be a partner in their success, and I want them to feel that way. Mm -hmm. And I think this position, and uh, we, we hired a, uh, a young lady, Allison Levy, who uh, a lot of people know is the general manager from Harborview. Mm -hmm. She'll be joining the chamber uh, at the end of October, and I'm very excited about the energy and the excitement she's going to bring. Is she going to be have that member director of director membership? Director of membership, yeah. yes. And then we'll be adding a, a director of advertising, mm -hmm. communications, mm -hmm. and marketing uh, as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and that that position will, you know, be be talking about uh, Nantucket as a destination, but it will also be talking about stories of uh, what our members have to say mm -hmm. and what they're 
doing. And we're going to be very media friendly. That's one of the reasons I was excited to do this mm -hmm. show. Uh, we're going to be out there. We're going to be talking about what our members are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be talking about anniversaries and milestones and new businesses mm -hmm. and renovations. Um, we're going to, you know, shout why our membership is, is special. What about uh, issues, uh, uh, political issues, mm -hmm. government relations issues? Are you? Is this something you see the chamber getting involved in? I think I, I think advocacy is a big part. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're the face of, of business, mm -hmm. I learned that a long time ago. Uh, you speak with a, with a louder voice. You carry a bigger stick. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're if you're representing, you know, right now 700 plus businesses right. on the island, uh, that's that's a that's a significant voice, uh, whether it's state government or federal government mm -hmm. or local government. So. Uh, whether we're talking about the J-1 visa issue or, mm -hmm. um, you know, tra travel and tourism dollars has, has been a big topic. And uh, that's something that we need to be, you know, talking on behalf of our members. There is a, there's been an issue here this summer, which I probably don't know enough about to ask an intelligent question, mm -hmm. but it has to do with the restaurants and their occupancy. Are you familiar with that at all? Have you heard about a, a it? A little bit. Remember, yeah. I've been here two weeks. Yeah, I but, understand. Uh, yes, I understand I, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've heard a couple rumblings. I mean, without knowing any of the details. Would that be something you think, I mean, it's obviously disrupted the restaurant business over the course of the summer, along with the J-1 visa problem mm -hmm. and so Would that be something that you think the chamber should take a, I mean, knowing what you don't know now and what I don't know now, but conceptually, is that if there is something that, that a result of governmental action which just disrupts, is that something that you think the chamber should take a stand on? At, at this point, I don't want to say stance. I would say interest, interest and I think it's 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 something that you get people in the room. One mm -hmm. of the things the chamber is in the unique position to do is to bring people together. Right. Um, I, I'm I'm not even thrilled to use the word members as much as I like the word partners. But it's you you mm -hmm. bring those hospitality partners into a room. You bring government mm -hmm. into a room, and and you kind of figure out what the issues are. And we're in the unique position to, if not mediate, at least listen. And mm -hmm. and uh, if we end up taking a stance, that happens after we've listened. And, sure. well, um, yeah. But I, I, hope, I, I, I so, hear you. But, but yeah. that, that is something that we yeah. should be involved in, and I think we're in the unique position that, that we should. Because it's my impression that the chamber hasn't sort of gotten that down and dirty. They've taken positions on the state tourism budget and that kind mm -hmm. of thing and, and the visas, but any sort of local, purely local, issue. I, I think is, if it if it impacts uh, the business community. If I'm wrong, forgive me. <laughs> no, 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 I don't no, think that's, I it was a good question. Yeah. I, I, if it impacts the business community, if it impacts our membership, mm. I, I think we need, you know, to first listen mm. and then secondarily we, we need to we need to act on behalf of membership. And mm. I think it's part of why you become a member of something. Um, what do you see as some of the other challenges in this particular job? What are you looking forward to addressing? I <laughs> well, based again on what you know now. Yeah, well, no, I, 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 I will go back to the, the value of a membership. What, mm -hmm. what does a membership bring somebody? What does it do for your business? Is, mm -hmm. is it, uh, you know, a, you know we, we talk about the tourism, and that's important. We're going to continue to do that. Mm -hmm. We're, uh, you know, a, a regional tourism organization. We're going to continue to work with the state. We're going to continue to to promote and market and advertise, you know, Nantucket mm -hmm. to all mm -hmm. the same places we have before and maybe take some new approaches. Uh, as well, uh, but I, I think it's really important to worry about the shoulder seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's really important to, you know, work with businesses even who, February, yeah, who <laughs> want to stay open a little right, longer, right. but don't see the need. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do we work with our local partners on the island mm -hmm. to, you know, develop some programs that that may keep business here a little longer, mm -hmm. bring business back a little earlier, mm -hmm. and you know, really help. Uh, you know, businesses with that issue of mm -hmm. do we do we open, do we close, when do we when do we reopen? Mm -hmm. I, I think that's a that's a big that's a big piece of it as well. Mm -hmm. um, anything away from the hospitality industry that strikes you as something you like to, that, again that you granted you've only been here two weeks. No, I, I think that was a you know. A, I remember I was in a tourism area before, and mm -hmm. I remember uh, having a conversation about two and a half years ago um, with an accountant. Uh, he was a CPA, mm -hmm. and he, he wasn't quite sure he was going to let his membership lapse. He, he wasn't sure he wanted to renew. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it was the exact same question. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, it was, you know, the chamber's always worried about bringing people. In that case, it was for winter activities. Mm -hmm. So it was skiing and cross country skiing and hiking. and and in the summer, golf. And we talked mm -hmm. about that a lot. Uh, and, you know, he said, you know, 
come tax season, I wouldn't mind a little a little boost. I wouldn't mind a little promotion. I wouldn't mind if uh, I'm going to be putting on a, a seminar mm -hmm. to talk about the upcoming tax season. You helping me promote that, mm -hmm. and I, I think I think a chamber has to remember. You know, there are there are mm -hmm. accountants, there are lawyers, you know, there are service industries. Uh, it's not just restaurants and and inns and mm -hmm. and hotels. It's not just hospitality. There are a lot of uh, businesses all over the mm -hmm. island, and uh, you know that that takes you know some that, that takes some love you know to let yeah. them know that there there is just as important mm -hmm. to a chamber of commerce as uh, a restaurant or, or, or a hotel yeah. but you can't be all things to all people so you have to uh, yeah, yeah I know but you can try <laughs> uh, yeah I, I think you can try to spread that around mm -hmm. a little bit and that was the purpose of the mm -hmm. director of membership mm -hmm. role mm -hmm. uh, because I, I I think before from what I've heard and, and again I, I, I wasn't here so I, I don't look back I'm, I'm very forward-looking um, you know that having one person uh, worry about the membership, mm -hmm. having someone just dedicated to telling those stories, helping with mm -hmm. those promotions, helping with problems, fielding mm -hmm. those calls, walking in and out of businesses to see what their needs are, I think is critical to our success. Do you see a greater use of social media and that yes. kind of thing in terms of, of getting member stories out there? I, I, I think, um, you know, radio, TV, mm -hmm. social media, um, uh, print, uh, all of that. I, I'm someone who loves uh, media releases. I do love all the platforms on, on social media, mm -hmm. whether it's you know Instagram or, or, or Twitter or, or continuing with Facebook. I, I think those are all uh, stories that, again, we have, uh, we have a big following mm -hmm. on all of those platforms mm -hmm. that's going to get bigger as we work it. And uh, that's a great way to mm -hmm. you know, spread those messages, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, what other challenges do you see? Well, I, I, I think uh, I think it, uh, a challenge coming up will be what happens with state budgets. Uh, the first thing to get cut off in is tourism mm -hmm. dollars, and that is, and I know we talked about it earlier, as, as far as it being almost an over focus. Right. But you know, state budgets aren't going to get any easier as we go forward. I, I just came from the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm, I don't think they've still passed a budget the last I, the last I heard here uh, in mid-October. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to get any easier across the country, and that includes the state of Massachusetts. And tourism money is always, in, in my mind, something easy to cut because you're not, not necessarily, as, it's a lot easier to cut than, than health care or, or, or something. Right. Uh, the executive order that was recently uh, um, uh, written in... Yeah, was, okay, I'll use that word. Uh, in in DC, um, if that goes through, that really that's a hit to healthcare. That's a hit to states. Mm -hmm. That's a hit to Medicare. Uh, how do you balance that in a mm -hmm. state budget? And I think one of the, the the big issues that we've already started to talk about is how do we because you don't want to stop promoting mm -hmm. the island if mm -hmm. that money little by little disappears or that you get sudden cutbacks like they did last year, which mm -hmm. I, I, I know made big news here. Um, you have to be in a position to counter that. And how do you do it and how do you maybe do that you know, locally? How, how effective is the advertising for Nantucket versus Martha's Vineyard or someplace in Maine or the Cape or so forth? How do you measure? Are you able to measure? Well, the, the people, I mean that, that's the obvious yeah. question. No, yeah. well, you get of, numbers. You yeah. get you get if it's a website, you get clicks and impressions. Right. If, if it's a, a, a print ad, you get from. the circulation. You, not all the time. I don't think it's I don't think it's perfect. Websites yeah. have always um, I, I've always scratched my head a little bit because you'll see that something had you know tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of impressions. But mm -hmm. uh, you know how many people actually dwelled on that particular page, ad page and views, clicked it and page views. Um, I, I don't know if they they still have it down to a science, but it, it you know data mm -hmm. is important, and, and if you're going to spend that money, mm -hmm. you need to you need to know you've got eyes mm -hmm. on it, uh, and it, it, it from what I've seen so far, what's been in place, I think is working. That doesn't mean we can't look at the different mm -hmm. you know uh, media outlets that we're using, and it doesn't mean we can't reconsider how that money's how the money's mm -hmm. spent. Um, do you have a favorite media? <sighs> Boy. Medium, I should say. I guess say. I should say television. Television. I, I should. Which is the most expensive. Well, I mean, we're on television. Right now. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I think I think television tells a tells a story, and if, mm -hmm. if the if the ad is is put together right, it's it's a visual that mm -hmm. will immediately grab someone's attention, even if they're not paying close attention. Mm -hmm. uh, I I still think print is is um, it can be very very useful, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and and I, to the point where 
we're, we're so online these days, and this is probably a whole other interview, we're, we're so online, we're so consumed, uh, we're almost over inundated mm -hmm. with, with tweets and, and Facebook posts mm -hmm. and, and photos. But it, it's still what everybody's looking mm -hmm. at, and it's still something that uh, that we have to use. But I, I always felt like the pendulum, you know, eventually gets to a certain point, then it starts to swing back. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm still a fan of, uh, of reading a book, you know, versus so swiping, had, swiping a tablet. Yeah. And, um, so I think that's that's coming back. I, I still love print. I think print mm -hmm. tells a story, and if you combine some, you know, really captivating mm -hmm. images. Uh, with the right message, I, I think it resonates, mm -hmm. and I, I think people still still appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, the chamber I ran was in mm -hmm. Latrobe, and mm -hmm. Latrobe was known uh, as the birthplace of Arnold Palmer, and everybody right. was familiar with the Pennzoil tractor, and mm -hmm. and uh, he, he was a great man, and he was a member, and, and I got to know him, and he was involved. But um, the, the Nantucket connection mm -hmm. that Latrobe has is that was the birthplace of Fred Rogers, uh, so the Fred oh. Rogers archives are there. Uh, the, their, their foundation, which is still based in Latrobe, help, helped us open a visitor center, which mm -hmm. we called the Neighborhood mm -hmm. Visitor and Information Center. And a lot of the pictures that we had on display were, were of, of, of Fred, and he was here. You know, he was you outside Crooked House. house. You see I have. I've been past it on yeah. Massachusetts. And, uh, and they, that family um, uh, still owns uh, that house and two others mm -hmm. on Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And I think they fit into that category. He's, they, they love this island. I can't say how often... Uh, um, you know, they, they leave the house once they get to it because it's just a getaway from their, their everyday crazy lives. Right. But, um, you know, that, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I have a solution to that just yet mm -hmm. after two weeks. But, no. <laughs> yeah, but you, yeah, you're... Well, we'll get you, know, you back right. in six months and, and get an update. I, I'll come back as often as you want, absolutely. Right. Yeah. David Martin, thank you very much. Thank and you. best of luck to oh, you. Oh, I appreciate it. It was a pleasure to be here.